Converge or diverge, sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k times the square root of k plus 1. In this video, I will show you guys a slightly different way to write out the solutions than my usual way. You can check out my other videos for my usual ways to write out the solutions. But anyways, before I do anything right here for you guys, comment down below and let me know why am I using blue and yellow today. It shouldn't be that hard, right? Anyways, let's take a look of this. For this expression, 1 over k times the square root of k squared plus 1. First, I'm going to ignore the plus 1 in the square root in the denominator. So, I'm going to look at sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, and we have the 1 over this k, and then we have just the square root of k squared. And now let's make a comparison. I took away 1 in the square root right here in the denominator. So, is this going to be bigger or smaller than this. Well, you see that we have the plus 1 in the square root, in the denominator. So, the denominator here is technically bigger than this one. If you have a bigger denominator, when you do the 1 over, this is going to be smaller than this, right? So we know the original is going to be less than or equal to this one. And let's take a look, 1 over k times the square root of k squared. What is this? Well, this right here is just k, and then we have another k, right? k times k in the denominator, we have 1 over k squared. So we can say this is sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, and then I'm just going to write down the original again right here. And we can say this is less than or equal to this is just the sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k squared. And now do we know much better about this one? Yes, we do, because this is just a p series. We know right here p is 2, but I don't just say p is 2. You have to tell me 2 is bigger than 1. So you know this right here converges by the p series. Well, I just showed you that this right here is less than a convergent. So we can come here and say this right here also converges, right? And this is by inequality. When you show that this is less than a convergent, convergence is like finite. This is smaller than a finite value. It has to be a finite value as well, so it has to converge. Here we can write down the conclusion. And I'm just going to tell you the original, which is sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k, square root of k squared plus 1, this right here also converges by, we have this inequality, so that is the direct comparison test, with sigma when k goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over k squared. That's it!